Hi everybody and welcome. This is a fairly short video. We are going to be looking at how we handle large numbers and how we put them in order. It's fairly basic maths, but it does give us the skills to move forward into other topics. So it's important. Let's give it a go. So the number we're going to look at here is this one, 1473295. Now this has already been split up into its columns and the names of the columns put on there. One job that you do have to do is to learn the names of the columns. Just to make it a little bit easier, there is some common sense here that we can use to help us learn these. If I cover them up for a moment, let's just look at the columns one at a time. The first number we come across at this end is the five. Well, five is just units. Now, if we add the next number on, we then have 95. Well, 95 is nine tens and a five. So that column is indeed the tens. If we just say out loud those three digits, we would say that is 295. Therefore, the two must be the hundreds. The next number on, following exactly the same logic, if you were to say that out loud, you would get 3,295. Therefore, the three must be the thousands. You then have 10 thousands, so that would be 73,295. 100 thousands, 473,295. And then the million on the end, 1,473,295. Let's just look at the way I said those numbers. I said 1,473,295. Now, hopefully you can hear a pause in my voice as I'm saying that. I am saying 1,473,295. So as I am pausing here, I've left a gap. What we tend to do is rather than leave a gap, we put in a comma and that helps us to say large numbers out loud because these three, 295, this is the hundreds, tens and units bit. These three are all the thousands part and here on are the millions. In fact, the next two columns would also be in the millions. So to help us say a number out loud, Start at the units end, count on three, put a comma, count three, put a comma, and it makes it easier for us to say it. Now, here's a very common type of question where you are given a series of large numbers and asked to put them in order. Be careful with this because we have to read this particular part here where it says highest first. So let's have a look at these numbers. Well, a good idea is to start sorting them depending on how many numbers there are in each one of them. In other words, this has got one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in there. This one also has six, as does this one. This one, however, one, two, three, four, five, six has seven. This one has five. Another one here with six. Again, six. And the bottom one has five. Now, why would we do that? Well, the simple rule is that if a number has got more digits, then it's a bigger number. So if we look at these, we clearly see, first of all, that there is one number here that has seven digits. Therefore, it is the bigger number and needs to go at the top of our list. OK, now we have several numbers which all have the same number of digits. They all have six. So we need to figure out which of them is the largest. Let's move all the sixes just to one side here. There's that one, there's that one, there's that one, there's that one, and there is that one. So all these numbers have six digits. So our next job is to work out which of these numbers is the largest. And what we do is we start with the first column here. Therefore, if we are looking down, we have seven, seven, three, two, Eight. So because this is 800,000, that number is the second largest on our list. The third one, well, again, we've got 7732. There are two sevens here. 
So in a situation where we have the same number in a column, we move on to the next column. So we need to be looking at this column here. And we can see that out of these two numbers with a seven on the beginning, this has a six in its second column. This only has a five. Therefore, that must be the next biggest number followed by that one. Go to our remaining two. That starts with a three. That starts with a two. So we have a three there and we have a two there. So we're now down to our last two numbers. If you remember, these are the smallest numbers. These both have five digits. Let's just put them here for a second. Let's look at the first column. In the first column, they are both a nine. So we move on to the second column. This one is nine, nine. The bottom one is nine, seven. So the top one is the highest of the two. And that will now be the correct order from the highest number down to the lowest. Now, there may come a question where you are asked not to put them in order from the highest, but to do just the opposite and do it the lowest way. The method is exactly the same, but in reverse. If you felt comfortable about it, you could simply find the list with the highest first, and then when you finished, turn it upside down, because of course that is the smallest, then that, 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 and so on to the largest. So all you are doing is creating the same list in the opposite direction. And there we go, that's larger numbers. Have a practice, put some numbers down, see if you can get them into order. And I think the next skill we need to learn is negative numbers. And I'm going to put a link to that on the side here. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you hit the notifications button as well, it'll let you know when I bring new videos out. Thank you.